Hey guys, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. I am back with the second of three figures I bought in Dublin yesterday. Uh, this is the McFarlane Toys Batman Classic TV Series Catwoman. Now this is actually one of three Catwomen that featured in that series. There was Lee Merriweather, Julie Newmar and Eartha Kitt. And if you don't know who Eartha Kitt is, shame on you because Eartha Kitt was an amazing fucking actress and an absolutely fantastic singer. If you haven't, if you haven't heard any of her music yet, you need to check out her to kids music. Uh, the cool thing about her Catwoman was Julie Newmar and Lee Merriweather were very much super sultry and they used their sex appeal to kind of get out of situations. And Eartha Kitt's Catwoman did do that, but she also kicked ass and and she, she was a badass. And while it is a terrible movie, uh, the Catwoman that starred Halle Berry, one of the better aspects was kind of her performance. And Berry is quoted as saying that Eartha Kitt was a big inspiration for that kind of characteristics she gave to that Catwoman. And you can understand why if if you're a young African-American girl and you see this badass African-American chick in a, a fairly big TV show uh, kind of up there with, with, with the, the, the big boys and the, the, the villains, the rogues gallery, you, you'd be pretty impressed and kind of idolize that character as well. So yeah, again, Eartha Kitt kicked arse in that role. The figure itself, really nice the packaging very cool kind of the retro style and it's a it's a bubble it's not collector friendly but you know what screw it doesn't matter uh, on the back here it shows her ticket in her catwoman regalia and it also shows the batmobile and just a couple of little logos and stuff there and mcfarland toys so I am going to pause the video and when we come back we shall have a closer look at the figure. Don't go anywhere, I shall be right back. And we are back and here is the Eartha Kitt Catwoman. And we'll just try and focus in there. Maybe there's stuff trying to kind of uh, block the way but camera is having a bit of trouble focusing. There we go. That is a really nice head sculpt, really nice face sculpt. My only complaint is the mask is a bit high up. I wish it was a bit lower down. You can tell it's right under her eye and should be kind of over the nose. But barring that, uh, it's really nice head sculpt. Like the hair, the way the hair is done and just the, the design of the jewelry is really nice. And the gold speckling on her cat suit. Just, it's really cool. Um, complaints about the figure. The articulation in the arms is fantastic. There is some really good kind of wide joint articulation in the arms. And you can kind of bend them and rotate them like that. But my, my issue is there is only a kind of single pivot on the legs. Which is okay I suppose. But when you're used to getting NECA and the likes of Marvel Legends and other DC figures that have kind of full range of articulation. Uh, you expect a bit more, but I digress. Still a really nice figure, really liking the head sculpt. I just wish, my two complaints were, I wish the mask wasn't so high up because it looks like it's kind of, kind of irritating her eye. But bar that, really cool. Uh, the hands can't really hold anything, but she doesn't come with like a whip or a gun or anything, but, uh, the legs would be the big complaint I'd have. The mask is a small niggle, but the legs just not having that kind of uh, ball joint in the hip, that would that would help. Uh, you can rotate the head, but the, the hair stops it. But still, really nice figure. Does come with two accessories, these. Now, I don't know, do you attach them to the character's hands? Like they're making sound effects or or what did you do? I, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you do. I just, I think they are a bit strange, but I digress, you know. It's, it's, I suppose if, if, if she's going hitting someone, she can have like, pow. What's that say? Eow. And I, I don't know. That's a fucking Wilhelm scream. So yeah, I got a Wilhelm scream and eow. But again, really like this figure. My my only major complaint is 
the articulation in the legs. Uh, the the knees do swivel a bit, but it's kind of redundant when this this joint is just held in place. But yeah, again, awesome, awesome version of Articate. I do know they're releasing the Julie Newmar version. I don't know if we're going to get a Lee Merriweather, but I don't know we're getting the Julie Newmar. But yeah, this is really cool. And yeah, I, I'm glad I got this because Articit kicks ass. Again, if 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 you haven't checked out her music, please check out Articit's music. I'm going to do a size comparison, so don't go anywhere. I shall be right back. And we are back. And let's do a size comparison. So let's put... Harley next door and yeah that kind of works because I don't think Articate was a very tall woman and next I'm going to put the McFarlane Arkham Batman next to her and that kind of works because he's a beast of a, 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 a dude Batman is a bit of a beast so you could see that working and for shits and giggles let's try a Marvel Legends character and yeah she actually scales up fairly well to Scarlet Witch so yeah that's that's pretty cool again really nice figure really like it I know there's not a lot of accessories with it but I can overlook that the only drawback for me I think is there's no ball joint in the hip uh, I think they missed out but I digress it's a nice figure and yeah I would like to get more I know you can get Batman in his kind of swimming trunks where he uh, where he fucking takes on Joker in a surfing competition. I would love to see this Batman with swimming shorts on, but we're, we're never going to get that. But I digress, guys. What do you think of this figure? And who is your favorite Catwoman of all time? Is it Julie, Mo Julie Newmar? Is it Lee Merriweather? Is it Eartha Kitt? Is it Michelle Pfeiffer? Anne Hathaway? Is it... Uh, Zoe Kravitz, is it the girl from, uh, oh god, Gotham, I forget her name, Cameron something or other, let me know in the comments below, and uh, yeah, have a good one, take care, bye now. But I'm tired of being pure, and a nut, chase, like something that seeks its level, I wanna go to the devil, I wanna be evil, I wanna spit tax. I want to be evil and cheat at jacks. I want to be wicked. I want to tell lies. I want to be mean and throw my pies. I want to wake up in the morning with that dark brown taste. I want to see some dissipation in my face. I want to be evil. I want to be mad. But more than that, I want to be bad. And jump an ace just to see my partner's face. <laughs>